In this episode, we will understand how to deploy a node application onto a server using PM2. Once we have completed the implementation of a node based web application or an application which is serving API requests, we need to deploy this application onto a server. For an application to be running on a server, it needs to be running as a daemon process or a process which is running in the background. PM2 is one such tool which enables us to achieve this. In this episode, we will be looking at how we can configure PM2 to manage a node application. We have an express based application already in place which has few APIs implemented. We will start up the server to show one of these APIs and we'll make a get call to one of the implemented APIs. As we see we have an API called products which returns a listing of products. Now we will set up PM2 and configure this application to be managed by PM2 as a background daemon process. We will install PM2 first as a global package. To see the listing of all the processes being managed by PM2, we can execute the command PM2 list. As we see, there are no processes currently being managed by PM2. To add this express application to be managed by PM2, we can execute the command PM2 start. And we need to give the entry point for this application as the argument to this command. Next, we can also give an optional name to it. Now, as we see, we have a record added for this application with the status as online. We will now close Visual Studio Code and show that even when we close it, the application is still functional. We can showcase that by making the API call again. And as we see, we are getting the response to this API. To stop an application which has been added to PM2, we can execute the command PM2 stop and the name of the application. Now we see that the status has changed to stop. We can also give the process ID of the application to start and stop the application here. The process ID for this app is zero. So let's try to start it by giving the process ID. And as we see now the status is online. Once we have made changes to an application, we would want to restart the application for that we can execute the command pm2 restart and the app name this will restart the application there is another option similar to restart called reload that command restarts the application with zero downtime so that is a preferable option in case the application needs to be restarted if you want to remove this application from being managed by PM2, we can execute the delete command PM2 delete and the application name. Now we see that there are no applications listed here. There is another option provided by PM2 which allows us to start the application in cluster mode, wherein multiple worker instances of this application are created and PM2 manages requests to these multiple instances by load balancing them. We can achieve this by executing the same start command and giving an additional option called hyphen i and the number of workers that we need to create. In this case, we'll try to create three workers. Now, as we see, the same application has been started in cluster mode and there are three workers handling the request for this application. We can also monitor the apps being or the processes being managed by PM2 by calling the monit command. 
Now as we see here, we are able to see three different processes being managed by PM2 along with the associated heap size, heap usage, the memory utilization and there will be logs listed here in case there are any associated with each of these processes. We can also see PM2 logs by executing the command PM2 logs. This will sh show a listing of all the logs and tail the logs. To add more workers to the cluster, we can execute the command scale. and increment it so here in case if you want to add two more workers we can give plus two as we see here two more instances have been added into the cluster and all of these are serving requests for this application if you want to reduce or increase the cluster size to a fixed number we can give that number as an argument in this case supposedly we want to reduce the cluster size to two we can execute the earlier command and just give the number as 2. And now we see that the cluster size has come down to 2. We can individually stop or start the workers in the cluster by giving the process ID. In this case, uh, if we are to if we want to stop the worker with the ID 3, we can we aim to stop 3. Now here we see that the worker with ID 3 has stopped, however the other worker process is still online. Now if you are to make the API call here again, we still see that the requests are being served because one of the workers is online. So this provides more resiliency and uh, availability for the application when we run it in cluster mode. To see the details of a specific process managed by PM2 we can execute the describe command and give the process ID let's check the process details for the ID 4 then as we see we can look at the details for this process we hope you find this episode helpful if you did Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. At SpinSage, we provide digital consultancy services including web and mobile app development. For inquiries, please visit spinsage.com.